Survivors of yesterday's shooting rampage in Oregon speaking out, giving clues about the shooter's possible motive. Hundreds gathered for a candlelight vigil honoring those killed at Umpqua Community College in Roseburg. According to police, the shooter, 26-year-old Chris Mercer, was killed in a shootout with police but had enough ammunition for a longer fight. And police now trying to figure out what prompted him to go from room to room firing at students. And the father of one of the students told reporters what he learned about the attack. He would ask them, and if you're a Christian, stand up. And they would stand up, and he said, good, because you're a Christian, you're going to see God in just about one second. And then he shot and killed them. Shock waves of grief being felt from the small town of Roseburg, Oregon, all the way to the White House where President Obama had a very angry response. Yesterday's deadly shooting raising a lot of emotions across the nation from sadness, anger, confusion. Yeah, all of the above. Joining us now to try and make some sense out mm. of all of this, Dr. Gregory Jantz. Good morning. Good morning. That's the problem, trying to make sense out of this. Right, exactly. So, so let's start with the shooter. Okay, we now know the shooter's name, 26-year-old. Right. Um, a lot of people saying that we should not name the shooter in this case because we're giving him what he wanted, which was infamy. Uh huh. I wanted to be famous. Well, I think that we don't want to put a lot of attention on the shooter. He fits a typical profile. We, it's predictable. You know, the profile is 16 to 24. They're usually white males who are isolated. And there is a psychopathic personality. We can predict this. And there were signs here. And we, and we just heard from the father of one of the survivors who, who said that he went in, was asking people, are yes. you Christian? If they said yes, he would then right. shoot them. This is, this is almost an ode to Columbine right. back in 1999. Exactly, exactly what happened there. Exactly. So I want to ask you a little bit about, because we just mentioned that there were warnings online. Yeah. I mean, he was talking to people online. Um, what does that say? I mean, mm -hmm. you mentioned the psychopathic yes. type of personality yeah. with that. Well, what's that say? There's generally warning signs. They usually are telling us ahead of time what they do. If we look at previous school shootings, and one of the things is we've got to learn from this. It's time for this to stop. Right. Okay. This is not, we can't handle this as routine anymore. So are those warning signs, I just wanted to ask yes. you, are those warning signs a cry for help? Is that, is, is that them saying, I don't really want to do this, or, or no, is this I them think being brazen? When they've made the decision to do it, they've made the decision to do it. Yeah. Now, in this case, social media, we had others encouraging him. Yeah, so what does that say to those people? Yeah, what does that say to those people? Yeah, right? I mean, what, what, what are they thinking about? I mean, what, I mean, what, what person goes on a website and says, oh, you're, you're, you're planning to shoot up a school? Great idea. Well, there are also people that are in the same community of beliefs. And so they're going to encourage the leader is going to rise and he's going to be, quote, the hero. Okay, so, so the, these are people who idolize mass killers as a way to gain some sort of fame to, to make their existence worthwhile well, somehow? Well, as, as, as sick as that may seem, it makes no logical sense. But they're operating on a whole different belief system. So what can we do? I mean, what, what can we do? What can we as the media, I guess, I mean, we, we can start with that, you know, to, to my first question. I mean, are we perpetuating this by, you know, kind of honoring these people and these horrible things are doing? Well, what we do know, and this is, this is the frightening piece of this, is that it's a ripple effect. Each shooting builds on the next one. And I can tell you this morning, there'll be another one. Right. And, and so to President Obama's point yesterday, he says, you know, every couple of months I'm up here, I'm saying the exact same thing. Yeah. We are numb to this. Right. Well, and we don't know how to feel about it anymore. It's yeah. almost, there's so much trauma. It's so traumatic. It's like, where do I put this? How do I even talk to my kids about this? So we're traumatized as adults. Right. We don't know what to do with it. And then it happens again. You said we grow numb and that's what we can't do now. Yeah, we have to step up and, yeah. and do something. We have to face the That's problem right. instead of running That's from right, it. That's right, Liz. Dr. Jans, thank you so much. Yes.